This man, I think, basically changed the business in WWE. He, he came in and he changed it at a time where it was just all about, you know, the big, muscly guys, six foot five, you know, 350 pounds, nothing but muscle. But this guy came in and changed the business and showed other smaller guys that they can come in and do it and Bret Hart came in and showed the world that the smaller man can come into a world of giants and put on one hell of a show through technical wrestling and he set the standard for all other guys that came in that were about his sort of stature that you can come in and you can be on the top of the WWE if you put your heart and soul into it. He was perhaps one of the hardest workers ever. And we all know the heart dungeon. We all know the training that he went through. We all know the amount of passion and work he put into everything that he done. And he had to be at my number three here because of who he is and I've got nothing but respect for Bret Hart. Bret Hart basically began this whole era of the smaller guys coming in and putting on decent great matches through technical wrestling against the big guys and winning the top belts and showing them that it can be done because if it wasn't for him we wouldn't have the likes of Chris Jericho, we wouldn't have the likes of Eddie Guerrero, we wouldn't have Daniel Bryan, we wouldn't have CM Punk, just to name a few guys who aren't that big at all can come in and succeed in a world of giants and Bret Hart, you know, he, he, he's done it all within WWE and it's a shame that I didn't really watch a great deal of wrestling at a certain point in the 90s just because I couldn't um, you know we, we didn't have the money for pay-per-views and things like that so I never really got to see much of the work he did when he was younger or when I was younger should I say uh, but thank god I've got the WWE Network now because I can sit back and which I have done and work uh, and watch some of his older matches I sat down the other day and watched his match with Stone Cold at Wrestlemania and I consider that one of the best matches ever and I also consider that to have one of the best visuals, one that stuck in my mind forever when Bret Hart's got Stone Cold in the sharpshooter and blood is pouring from Stone Cold's face. That is one of my favorite visuals ever in WWE history. Wow, that match was awesome incredible so I'm gonna sit down and go through more Bret Hart matches but without a doubt he had to be at my number three he really did he's Bret Hart for God's sake and if I could meet the man I would shake his hand 